everyone, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm showing you how to make a terrazzo cake. So terrazzo is really big right now and I really love the look of it because it's very modern and very chic. And I knew that I wanted to create a cake with that really cool terrazzo speckled look. And there's a couple different ways to do it and today I'm gonna show you guys a technique using some carved buttercream. So this is actually pretty simple and you just need to follow a few steps to make sure that your cake will turn out exactly how you want it to. So in front of me, I have a four layer, six inch cake that's already ready to go to decorate. It's like my blank canvas. And something that's really important before you start this technique is you want to use a really thick layer of buttercream. So I have a really thick layer on the outside because I'm gonna carve it and I wanna make sure that I have enough um, frosting that creates depth when I put the color in. So one very thick buttercream icing. And the second thing is this cake has been chilled. Um, so this, this actually was in my fridge for like two days. Um, but you're gonna wanna keep it in the fridge at least I'd say an hour before you start carving. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So you can carve in a couple different ways. I'm just gonna be using um, a sharp knife um, to cut away some of the frosting. So I'm just gonna start by cutting like little random shapes out of my cake. And these can be different sizes. Um, you know, some can be larger and some can be smaller. Um, just kind of visualize what you think your cake is gonna wanna look like and you know, with the different colors that you choose. So something to be aware of when you are carving away is really make those like crevices pretty deep because we're gonna put buttercream over this and we wanna make sure that it's like really in there so that it doesn't smear. So after I have carved all my little sections out of my cake, I'm going to just fill it in like each of the little holes with buttercream. And I kind of went with like a rainbow palette, just thought it would be like really fun and happy. Um, of course you can just decide on whatever colors you feel like. I have spackled in all of my colorful buttercream. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put this into the freezer for about 20 minutes. And this stuff is super important. If you try to scrape this away right now, all of your colors would completely smear and your cake would be ruined. So that is why we chill our cake in between the next step. So the cake just came out of the freezer. It was in there for about 20 minutes. 
And now I'm just going to take my scraper and I'm gonna start scraping away all this excess buttercream um, to reveal the pattern below. And something to know is that you probably are gonna have to scrape a few times to get a clean finish. And if it really starts to smear, go ahead and put it back into the freezer so that it can chill for a little bit more. And you're also going to wanna wipe your scraper in between each scrape. So the frosting is actually a little bit too chilled, so I'm gonna use the blowtorch to heat my metal scraper to really get off that um, chilled layer. So my trazo cake is done, and I definitely had to scrape this down a lot more than I thought I would have to, but I really like how it turned out. Like to me, this looks like, honestly, kind of like a jelly bean exploded on this cake. So I could actually see this being like an Easter theme, but really you could do so many different things with this type of design, and it was really fun to do um, and pretty simple. So I hope that you guys enjoyed learning this technique, and I hope that you try it. And if you did like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.